been a result of this tragedy. I'm pleased to introduce today the Honorable Mayor Max Townsend, Mayor of Common Alabama. Thank you, Christy. I want to thank everyone for being out today. This is a momentous occasion. I go back and I think of that day a year ago, almost a year ago, 11 months ago, and I want to thank the media. From the bottom of my heart, you saved many lives that day. You kept us all well informed, and we couldn't put a value on that because we took shelter. We lost a lot of buildings, historical buildings and homes in the city of Coleman, but we didn't lose a single soul. And that's totally remarkable when you look at the devastation that occurred on April the 27th, 2011. That day was a day, I believe, that to paraphrase President Roosevelt, that's a day that will live in infamy in our minds. It's a visual thing. Everybody knows where you were when something tragic like that happens. Well, I was at City Hall, and my first thought was, oh my goodness, how many souls are we going to lose? And when I saw the devastation, I couldn't believe that we didn't lose a soul. And you think about that devastation. In City Hall, we look at that tornado approaching, and that thing was gone within three minutes. And you look downtown all through the southeast, that the destruction that was done, it's, it's totally amazing. I know a lot of communities lost a lot of lives, not only buildings, but lives. And our hearts go out to all of those communities and their families, because it is tragic when you lose a loved one. I was looking at the map the other day, I was telling the people this morning, we have that map of devastation in City Hall in the conference room. And I was looking at that map, and I just thought of the destruction of that day. But what we want to do on April the 27th, 2012, we want to remember, we want to rebuild, and we want to show that Alabama is rising. And so when I was looking at that map, I asked my administrative assistant to write down all the towns that were affected that day. Because we want to invite the mayors and everybody in the state of Alabama to this event. This event is going to be called Rock the South. This is hopefully something that we're going to continue and do for the future and for all of the communities that were affected that day. So I believe that this is something that will be not only a great success, but will warm the hearts of each individual in the state of Alabama. <clears throat> I've been talking to some of my uh, friends and some of my grandchildren and my children and they are so excited about Dirk Bentley and Kelly Pickford. I mean, that is amazing when you think about that. At this time, I've been told that Dirk Bentley actually has the number one hit on the country chart. So thank all y'all for coming out today. Thank you for helping us promote this and for remembering and rebuilding and restoring. That's what we want to do. Thank you so much. County, uh, it, it left a terrible cut all across this county. 
tremendous amounts of debris, uh, homes destroyed, farms destroyed, chicken houses, uh, and that was one of our major concerns because poultry is king in, in Columbia County, or number one. And so we gotta make sure, well, without electricity and power uh, to get water and to keep the fans turning in the chicken house and so forth, you could see just losing multiple millions of chickens if something wasn't done. And, and our people from the, from the community, especially from the co-op and the power board, uh, we complimented them recently on, on what they accomplished in getting power restored to our community and to our areas. Uh, I had the sheriff coming in the, the second day on Thursday and said, you know, Chairman, what are we going to do? People are beginning to, to panic a little bit out in the county. What are we going to do for food? Uh, you know, you've got uh, 20 miles, maybe down in Cold Springs and out to Joppa and so forth. Uh, some of them are sick. They're, they're looking for medical care, oxygen that's going to be needed to replenish their bottles with. And, and by, to me, by, by the city and the county vote, uh, stepping up, we remain calm, we developed a plan uh, to, to uh, you know, start this process of healing, and, uh, and we, we get, got the word out to our people that there is something going on here. You know, we, we, we do have a plan, it's an operation, and we're gonna stick to that plan. Uh, and, and I think everybody performed greatly, and by restoring the confidence in our people, they themselves believed in themselves then, and started that, that process of healing, and, and uh, removing that cut that, that just so tragically hit Coleman County. I think too, uh, I, I recognize these people, even at my age and time. Uh, I know who uh, Dirk Bentley is and, and Kevin Pickler. I'm kind of I'm kind of picky on my country western singers and entertainers. I like I like the the, the older kind that sing the, the songs and you can hear their voices, not the screaming and the guitars and all this stuff that I can't really understand. These I can, and I appreciate uh, what they can do. I think it's going to be a great event for Coleman County. People are going to turn out. My biggest concern, I told the mayor a while ago, we're going to have enough room. Uh, this is going to bring in thousands of people. These are great entertainers here. So my, my, my pleasure to be here this morning and be part of it to represent Coleman County, and, and I look forward to it. I think it's going to be a great event for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. some over here that kind of gives you details on everything that's going on. Uh, we've got about uh, six weeks to pull this thing off, and we will do it, and it will be the greatest thing that's happened in this area in a long time. Just remember, Rock the South for many years to come, and we are going to remember, rebuild, and we are rising. So thank y'all for being here. If you do have questions, Shane and I can meet you around in front somewhere, and thank you very much. Y'all have a great day. Help yourself to food. We did bring food. <laughs> <laughs>